let's get this straight i am not a professional i've only been practicing for a couple months and i feel like i can do what works for my face hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel it's nicole for those who don't know today we will be doing a chit chat get ready with me i just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about a couple things that i have been asked been just like a couple things that i've been on my mind while i get ready to go basically in the car if that seems like your thing grab some tea grab your robe grab whatever you need and get ready with I have my hair pinned back because we about to get into some things, we about to do some makeup. And like, I really hate when my, my makeup is in my face. Like I really do. I hate when my makeup is in my face. Where else am I putting my makeup? I really hate when my hair is in my face when I'm doing my makeup. And when it comes to makeup, I'm, I'm like a really simple type of girl. But then like, once I say simple, it can really turn into something else. So what I'm gonna start off with is my brows. I start off with my brows all the time palette mirrors i mean yep feels so much better <laughs> i do need my eyebrows done to be honest like if i can't go anywhere to get my eyebrows done i'll probably i'll shape them myself sometimes i'll use wax because i feel like wax lasts longer but i normally go and get them threaded but i can't thread so i just make do it what i have and try and shape my eyebrows they may not come out great all the time but i feel like I've been doing them for quite some time that I know how to fix them if they do not come out great. So I feel like everybody knows how to do stuff on their own. Like everybody knows how to do stuff that works for them. Like you may not be a hairstylist, but you know what hairstyles fit your face. You may not be a makeup artist, but you know what fits you and how to do what fits you. So next step is just basically concealing these eyebrows. Let me just get a brush. because. So I just want to like kind of touch on the topic of why I decided to start like YouTube or whatever. Because, like, a lot of people, especially, like, my friends or people that's close to me, they've been egging me to do it. But I feel like if I were doing it, I wouldn't really get anywhere. Like, I didn't have confidence in myself when it came to, like, trying the YouTube thing or whatever. And I was like, listen, you're just gonna do it, be consistent, and not care what other people think. Do videos that make you happy. Do videos that, you know, you enjoy actually making. Because I feel like a lot of YouTubers, they'll make videos but they like don't actually enjoy making it like and some people are they could pull it off but some people you can actually see that look i'm just here to like get a check and that's it for me but like you can record something and then make it into a whole nother thing especially with editing and all the features and all the different things that we have now it's just another way of being creative and using various methods to get one certain point across. Cause if you really think about it, a lot of YouTube videos, they're about getting points across. It's just different ways in which people do it. And some of them may attract um, more followers than others. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this large hair brush. This Luxie brush. This luxurious blush brush. But like, no one knows this about me, but I made way before like, um, I even knew that people were getting checks on this. I think it was in middle school. That was probably like... <sighs> seven, six years ago. Seven, six years ago, I made a YouTube channel. And only like my friends in middle school, only my close friends in middle school knew I did it. And it was called Beauty by Ayana. I deleted all the videos. So even if you go check, it's not going to be there. And then for some reason, I got discouraged. Plus at that time, I didn't have a great quality camera. I had like this little camera that my grandfather got me, I think Christmas or something like that. Whenever I use it, like if you filmed a video like over 10 minutes, you would have to switch the SD card or you would try to, you would have to put it on like another drive or like uh, on your computer and stuff like that. So that was kind of annoying. That's then like, it took a while for me to understand that like in order to create videos like this, it would be, oh, okay. In order for me to create videos like this, it will like take some time. Like you gotta be patient and stuff like that. And me and patience, we don't go well together. But now I think my patience levels have been a little, I've gotten better with my patience levels. That's something I really wanted to work on for the new year. I'm very annoyed very easily when things didn't happen in a timely manner. And my mom would tell me all the time, like sometimes you have to like control your, you know, not patience, like 
because like when I get impatient like I would sometimes yell and stuff like that so it's like you need to control that you know it's not a really good thing so I've been controlling it I've been doing a good job so far haven't spat on anybody yet so I've been doing a great job it's like I would wear my eyelids like this but some for today I just feel like you know what you're going out let's just well, I'm not going out, I'm just staying in the car, but you know what, with quarantine, you get dressed up to go anywhere, to be honest. I feel like if I started during my last semester, or I would have started it, but wouldn't finish it, meaning I wouldn't be consistent, I would probably upload like every few weeks or so so like if i do one every week it would be like a consistent base um and then eventually once i get the hang of it because editing takes a while eventually once i get the hang of it i would actually like start editing like at least two times a week or finding what system works for you and that is where i'm at at this point i'm just finding out what works for me like i have video ideas i know what i want to do but it's like when do i do it so the next thing for me is i'm just gonna line my do my eyeliner should i do a wing liner with this yeah we're gonna try don't mess it up don't mess it up don't mess it up we ah! put on some lashes i'm just putting on some um natural lashes honestly i don't know how girls wear like lashes 10 inches away from their face and i'm just looking at them like are you serious like for all that, I might as well fly away. Like, me, I'm somebody I can't stay on topic, but once I start one story, I gotta finish the other story, then I gotta start another story because the other story turned into that story. At this point in my life, I'm just taking it for myself. I really don't need any distractions in my life because at this point, I feel like this time of my life, being that I am 19, I feel like this is the time for me to, to focus on other things other than trying to pursue a relationship because I just feel like if I were to be in one right now, I wouldn't be able to, you know, upkeep it. When I get into things, I like to give it 100%. I like to give it my full attention. Not being, not saying that like I'm all into it. Like that's not, that's like I neglect everything else. Even though in relationships it is unavoidable, you do tend to neglect a lot of things. You're not going to spend as much time with your friends as you did before because there's somebody else in the picture that you want to build. And I'm not saying like I'm totally against relationships. Like that's not what I'm saying at all. Like I honestly think being in a relationship is a beautiful thing. Falling in love is a beautiful thing. Like if it was meant to come my way, it will come my way without me having to force it. And, and it's just like the different factors that comes with it. The only ways you can meet somebody nowadays is either through me social media or like you meet them at a place. Social media is like you get so many characters on that. It's like not even funny. It's like people pretending to be who they're not. Like it's like a whole different ordeal on there. And then you don't know an axe murderer from a serial killer like like meeting people in public i barely leave my house i barely go anywhere except school um except work home and then my baby sister so it's like i'm not the type of person that i'm not gonna stop if i hear somebody call my name or try to like holler at me like i'm not gonna stop and i don't know how girls do it because like if somebody were to say yo to me i'm not thinking oh you want to meet me or anything no i'm thinking you trying to run down on me you trying to murder me you trying to on some next stuff so my first thing is how to exit the situation as as fast as possible especially at night i hear a yo i am the first person out of there i'm not staying i don't want to see what the next word is i don't want to see what the next situation is i just want to get out of there Then I like to switch my face with a little bit of facial toner. That's a lot of foundation. Oh my god. That is a lot. That is really a lot. I put a lot on. But we're gonna get through that in a moment. Hold on. I wouldn't say I'm the most pickiest person when it comes to that. I'm not. I'm really not. Um, But it's just like... You could be the flyest person on earth, but like if we don't click, like it's a done deal. Like I'm not the type of person to fake the funk. I'm not gonna fake the funk with you. I'm not gonna fake anything. In life, I'm only 19. I have all my, God willing, I live a long life. 
I have all of my life. Like, it's really no rush for me to be anywhere. Like, for me to be with anyone. That's like a sad mistake that a lot of girls make. There's really girls out here that's really sitting here thinking, all right, I have a deadline or a timeline by which I have to find a husband or a someone to have babies with like and then when they get in that relationship and they figure well, maybe I didn't take enough time to actually sit here and think about our future together or just meet what I want for my future and if this actually fits into it instead of like just rushing into stuff for the looks of it that's like something that my parents really like try to instill in me when I was like when I started dating and stuff like that you may get through a couple frogs to find your prince and that's that's perfectly fine i just chose to go about it a different way i don't feel like i need to date everybody to figure out what i want what i don't want i'm not saying i'm waiting for somebody to find me because if you find me then that'll be a blessing because baby we good on these odds that's on period like nowadays guys don't really mm -hmm. even be like the type of personality that i'm looking for guys really don't be on that like they fake it they fake the funk for a little bit and then like after that you really see people with true colors and i'm just like i'd rather not go through that like I'm really not trying to stress over it no no hell no i like to sit let that sit for a little bit so while that sits we're gonna like a little chit chat or whatever so again like the type of um personality that like I would go for like I love funny people like I really do I love funny people like if you make me laugh you have my but there's an there's a difference between actually being funny and trying to be funny like I really can tell the difference like if you're trying to be funny around me and it's like not genuine like I'll just look at you like like you want attention like not funny as in you making a fool out of yourself like running up and down i don't need no clown in my life i've dealt with that before and i don't got time for it honestly don't really don't people really aren't open-minded people are so closed-minded nowadays and i'm not saying i'm trying to change anybody's beliefs but these beliefs but these beliefs wait a minute if you believe that the sky is blue but I feel like the sky is turquoise. I would want somebody to understand, other than try and undermine what I believe. I don't understand why I believe what I believe. A lot of people are undermining without knowing that they are. And it's like so sad because I, me as a person, I try to be very understanding of a lot of people. And that's why some people believe like I'm so forgiving and stuff like that because i really try to understand people and their perspectives people that are open-minded i just never seem to get along with like for example if i feel hurt about something and do you honestly feel like it's not a big deal obviously if i'm bringing it up to you it is a big deal to me so i feel like that person should show that they care enough it's just really sad that that's really what we've come down to as human beings. Like, we're so firm in our beliefs that we really don't try to see the other side. Now we're just going to go in with some bronzer just to bronze up the face. Bring back a little bit of shape into the face. I really used to, I used to contour, but I really don't like contour anymore because I feel like it changes my face rather than enhance it. So I'm just going to go in with a little bronzer in this area. tend to go a little bit over but the same brush i like to um use the same blush that's in this palette oh look at this face oh my god brush take a smaller brush and try and really get in there another thing is like oh, don't get me wrong, everybody wants to be in love. Some guys and I know that's like, and I'm just there like, people begin their heartbroken in third grade and then be like, F girls, da 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 da. Not that serious, just because Suzanne didn't want to give you a cookie and gave David a cookie, 
does not mean that all girls are the same. I feel like this this makeup look a little nice. I don't know. 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 I don't know if I like that or not. I don't like. I don't know if I like that. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm tired of people asking me why are you single. You have a great personality. Why don't you try to talk to him? Why don't Excuse me, bitch. I don't want to, and it's okay to want to be single. Like that doesn't mean like I'm lonely or anything. Like it's okay to take time for yourself and actually like get to know yourself without like a companion like me and my sister were playing earlier right we were banging the highlighter look at it now like if you could see like all those little crumples yeah but i'm still gonna use it because it's still product in there i'm gonna get my money's worth with highlighter i really don't like to od because it really does look unrealistic so what i like to do is i like to go like we can do a little more sometimes if i'm feeling froggy and want to jump makeup we go into like a little c go like bam and then if you feeling like extra froggy you want to jump across the across the globe then we just bow 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 we just under the eyebrow under the eyebrow this is a regular brown I don't like to change the color of my whole lip because I feel like it just looks bad. And I already have big lips as it is. All right. It's like a light pink um, lip gloss and this is the lip gloss in Sky Pink. Light pink lip gloss and just go in. So if I were to give a piece of advice to everyone or just females in general, don't rush to be in a relationship just for the sake of being in a relationship. Yeah, oh, I wish I could film my outro without being interrupted. Um, if you are single, you should take that time to just self-reflect and just dedicate it, devote that time to yourself. And I just wanted to sit down with you guys and just talk about a couple things. I am a writer. Uh, like when it comes to like getting my feelings out or like getting my ideas out or getting my opinions out but i feel like this is more therapeutic because i actually have an audience to speak to i know this video was all over the place because you know <sighs> me and multitasking don't get along very well so i hope you guys like learn something or two or just heard something that you've never heard before before you leave make sure you like you comment you subscribe and you turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss when i upload another video because that would be a sad thing imagine me uploading and then you don't get the notification so you don't know that i upload and then you're just gonna miss another video and then when you come back to my channel you're gonna have to catch up so it's just a lot of things so it's better if you just click that notification bell and back to the actual video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye